What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn, Rad 89 here bringing you another review and we are continuing the Universal Monster Review Series as today we're going to be talking about The Mummy from 1932, yes one of the OG originals from this franchise that started a lot of the supernatural, the mummy genre, this is that film, but does this film have a connection to me, do I have a love with this film, you're going to find out today, so let's get down to this video, roll it. So I previously covered Creature from the Black Lagoon. I'll have a, like a link or a card up in the top corner so you can click on that review and check that out. I'm tackling these reviews a little bit differently than I normally do, like rating films from 1 to 10. Instead of with these Universal Monster films, I'm going to be putting them into different classes, class A, B, C, and F tiers, and the different tiers represent certain things. And in my Creature from the Black Lagoon video, I describe those tiers, so... Go back to that video, be sure, so you know how I'm tackling these movies and everything. Today we're talking about The Mummy from 1932. This stars Boris Karloff, Zita Johan, and David Manners, and it's directed by Carl Frond. I'm sorry if I butchered any of those last names, but yes, this film is one of those originals that started the mummy subgenre in terms of Egyptian lore and a lot of stuff like that. This is the beginning film, like I said, 1932, black and white. Let's get into some of the positives right away and talk about what I enjoyed about this film is that I like Boris Karloff's performance. That's probably my favorite thing. Also, the makeup and the design of The Mummy I thought was fantastic. So just based off that, the Boris Karloff performance and the look of The Mummy and the design is very creepy and everything. So that is easily my favorite thing about the film. Another thing I really loved about the film is that, like I said, this plays on that whole trope of finding your loved one and staying love and love transcending time because Imhotep, Boris Karloff, that's who he plays, the character Imhotep, who is an Egyptian uh, that has died and has end up, ends up being resurrected in the beginning of the film. Then he kind of assimilates himself into society and years later he goes on expeditions to try to find his wife's body and he ends up meeting a woman that he thinks is the reincarnation of his wife and then wants to do a certain ritual to make her his wife forever. So yes, that's what's really cool about this film is like I said, it roots itself in love transcending time. So I really like that concept of it. That's another thing that I really adore. And like I said, Boris Karloff performance slam dunk another thing with this film is that i do really like the set and on set designs and the different pyramids and the different like artifacts and the way they make things looks and like the scroll the scroll of thoth i think that's what they call it the scroll that he has in possession of and i like the way like i said all that little nuanced stuff that they have for the film to make it vary a certain time and a certain time period or aesthetic with the egyptian stuff going on so they really do nail that especially for a time for a movie coming out in 1932 but like I said, this is one of those films that sadly it doesn't connect with me all the way. I don't have a passionate love with this film. I must admit that I was introduced to as a child. I was introduced to the Stephen Summers, Brendan Fraser mummy films first. So those are kind of my first introductions to Imhotep and the Anaxanamon storyline. That's my first introduction to it. So I have a love and nostalgia feel for those films. So when I watch The Mummy, this is a film that I've seen before. This is, I think, the I want to say like the third time that I've watched this film. But it's still a film that doesn't really grab onto me. Doesn't I, I see the where it comes from and I see where it's going and I see the foundation for future films in the subgenre, what it laid down. But it's just not a film that connects with me. One major thing is I do, like I said, love the Egyptian setting and love a lot of the production design they got going on. But in terms of black and white shooting, it doesn't look that creepy. You know, in terms of the day's time settings, the expedition settings, and a lot of the wide shots and stuff, it's just not creepy in terms of when you're watching stuff like Creature from the Black Lagoon or Dracula or Frankenstein for instance there's haunting shadows there's castles there's just the way the swamp looks in Creature from the Black Lagoon there's just different ways that they're able to build the atmosphere in those movies and this film I think is one of those films that I in being in Technicolor I think The Mummy would have been a better film for me and would have connected more with me if they shot this in Technicolor 
I do got to give this film props because like I did, said, it did spawn many remakes and many sequels and reincarnations and stuff like that. So The Mummy, this isn't a film to just, you know, shake your stick at. It's just one of those films that for me, it's just, it doesn't connect with me. It's it's probably easily going to be, let's just talk about it right now, The Mummy is probably easily going to be the first film that ends up in C tier for me. That's where it's going to land, in the C tier. And I described this in my Creature from the Black Lagoon video, but the C tier is the tier that I can understand and see the importance and what the film did for horror and the subgenre that it's trying to tackle. But it's just not a film that I would re-watch often or a film that I adore or enjoy that much. But I, like I said, I could understand why people love this film. And especially, like I said, my wife. My wife has a passionate love for this film because there's some really cool aspects to this movie. But maybe I got to give it another watch or maybe watching the sequels. Maybe while watching the sequels to this film, I'll actually connect with it a little bit more. So there's always that possibility. I'm always willing to give a movie another chance. This isn't like a god-awful film that I would never return to again. It's just like I said, a film that I just I found myself checking my phone and checking the time more often than I should have been. One particular thing I want to talk about is my favorite sequence in this film, though I kind of maybe want to discuss those in the future videos and going on and everything into these videos, is The Mummy. Some of my favorite sequences are the dream sequences when Emotep is recalling what happened to him in his past life and he's showing somebody like, I like the flashback sequences in this film when it's showing the way he tried to kind of backstab and go around his king and try to resurrect his dead lover and then they caught him and then they mummified him. I thought that was a really cool use of a flashback. And The Mummy from 1932, you could stream this on Amazon Prime Video or you can actually purchase this on YouTube if you want to watch this film. I kind of promised in one of my last videos that I was going to talk about where you can stream and where you can watch these films because me, I am currently watching them on this 30 film box set that I picked up from Walmart that has all the Universal Monster films, like a whole host of 30 films in that box set so that's how i've been watching them and yes like i said the mummy lands in that c tier but these are just my thoughts and my opinions on this film that means i would love to hear from all of you down below in the comment section share your thoughts so we can discuss and everything and be sure to like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified Anytime I drop a video because you don't want to miss a thing, the spooky season is in full swing and I got a lot of content. But most importantly, you all know what's up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.